Wrong button. <laughs> Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome to Coffee Time with Flager. So, hey, today we're going to be sitting back, chilling out a little bit as we discuss the server settings for the new Ragnarok. Because uh, the Ragnarok playthrough that I'm, I'm just started up doing as of the beginning of the year, and we're going to be talking a little bit about that. All right, because a lot of people wanted to know the exact settings, and I reassured everybody that they're the same as Soloing the Ark, but there's a couple things, actually, that are different from Soloing the Ark, because uh, um, there's a item pickup that I can actually do, and I'm doing that absolutely without any zero mods, without any mods. Matter of fact, um, you can't do it um, if you're on, say, uh, Xbox or PlayStation, um, on just the regular solo game, but if you're on Xbox and PlayStation and you are hosting a server You can do it that way, especially if you're hosting it through a, a one like G portal, you know throw out to G portal uh, They're the people I use uh, matter of fact. There's links to it right up at the very on my channel uh, um, On the little tab on my channel, you know where I have the flinger foo banner and um, there's little links right up there that if you click that you actually get a discount so yeah, um, that aside, um, now we're going to be discussing about um, the different settings that I've got going on that. And I'm going to walk you through my settings. I'm going to do it here on G Portal, and then we're also going to do it um, in the base game. Um, because if you are on PC, that um, item pickup, you can set it up inside the INI files. So I'll discuss exactly how to do that if you're on PC and you want to play on single player. But also if you're on PlayStation 4 and Xbox and you host the server through a server hosting... Uh, um, Oh, site, then you can totally um, set it. It's just a little checkbox. Yeah. All right. So, hey, let's get in there. All right. And here we are. This is the nuts and bolts of uh, the Flingers uh, Rag Solo server. Yeah. Um, this is the little bits and pieces that we're going to go through bit by bit. Um, so, where we can, you know, I can show you. Uh, everything that's on it. Now, most of the ones, uh, they're exactly like uh, Soling the Ark. So if you've seen the other coffee times, if you're already running on those servers, just keep running on those on those settings because they haven't changed. Um, but let's go through with this. All right, so on uh, this right here, there's just a whole bunch of stuff. And we'll be sc scrolling down through all the stuff that we really don't need. Um, so yeah, um, I'm running a 10-man server, but nobody else even has access to that. And I'll show you that here in just a minute. Um, I mean, no one even, no one can even, I mean, you can search for the server, but you can't join it. Unless if you're me, you, then you can't join it. Nobody else can join it. All right, so now I've got Battle Eye activated on it. I have VAC activated on it. Um, let's see, there's some other things. Let's see, yeah, I have a message of the day. You know, do you have a cup of coffee? If yes, take a sip and get to having fun. That's pretty much the motto that I like to run off of, uh, you know, my day-to-day -day when I'm recording and stuff. Because, you know what? Coffee makes everything better. All right. So, uh, with that, I've got exclusive join. And I've only got one Steam ID on there. Mine. I'm the only one that has access to it. Uh, let's see. So, see all this other stuff. Uh, this is pretty much just... Things that you can't really even access in the single player game. Uh, I do not have cross travel enabled. I have pr um, I have everything checked so where there is uh, you can't upload or download anything on the server at all. Um, I've also got no transfer from filtering. So if something makes it through here, if it's not clustered, it's not going to make it through anyway. So yeah, nothing absolutely can get uh, brought through. All right. So for official difficulty, it's 1.0. All right, and I have override difficulty 5.0, which means that it's level 150 dinos. It's pretty much standard. All right, so let's see. Let's go. Um, we've got. Let's see, all the I have PvP turned on. I'm not going PVE on anything like that. I want the cryo um, orb cooldown on that. Hold on one sec, my watch. <laughs> Sorry, YouTube. My watch decided it wanted to mess with me. All right, so let's see. Um, let's see. Uh, show floating damage text, yes. Allow hit markers, yes. Server crosshair, yes. XP multipliers, one. All the um, XP multipliers are one. And honestly, 
I, I wish I would have had that XP multiplier set at uh, 0 0.5 when I started out because it's it's honestly it's going a little bit faster I wanted to <laughs> I want it to go slow I want it to be I want it to be enjoying the uh, um, the beginning little bits I really am but I'm still leveling a little bit too fast I wanted thylacolios and stuff to be a grind to get there and it, it was um, but it's just I guess I've become so uh, good at uh, leveling up that it just came without me even noticing it. So, yeah, but before I knew it, it's like, oh, yeah, hey, let's check the level to see what level Thylacolio Saddle is. Oh, that's three levels. I can do that by, uh, you know, just gathering all this stuff to build a raft. Nailed it. So, yeah, that was the last episode. And it, it was fun. I enjoyed doing stuff like that. I just wish I wish it would have been episode 10, that episode 6. Um, Let's see. Uh, The stacks, all the XPs, all the stacks, everything, they're all set at 1. And then, let's see, um, also one thing, if you notice in the very first episode, there was, uh, uh, I hit a rock and I got 10 stone and 10 flints out of it. That's because I had clamp resource harvest damage enabled and I had to go turn that off. That's what I did in that little edit spot in the first episode. That's what happened is I went and I turned that off. It's like, oh, why was that even checked? And so, yeah, it's every, whenever you're setting up a server, you always make at least one or two mistakes. Always. This is the way it works. All right. Uh, harvesting amount. I have two. Uh, double harvesting. It's because I'm single. I'm solo player. You know, um, on soloing the arc, actually, I think I'm running two or three. It's been a while since I checked. We can check it here just a little bit. All right, going back down. Everything set to default. Oh, that's supposed to be at one. There we go. All right, fishing quality loop um, is one. Uh, the daytime cycle. This is one of the things I always uh, I mess with. All right, I make the days longer. The shorter the number right here, the longer it is. So I have a half. Um, I have twice as long of a day. The nighttime is five times the regular speed because you get some crappy shots at night. I mean, everybody's um, everybody watches is always like gamma, gamma. You need to gamma during those. It's like I'm trying. I just want to get the nice good shot of the moon and then get back to daylight, and that's it. Because it's just, I, I like play in the day than I, more than I do night. I do that for uh, recording purposes for you, the viewer. Um, and then regular daytime is uh, twice as long as well. All right, I have the, um, the weather turned off because the only weather you get on rag is that little gusty wind and it sucks. So I'm, it's turned off. All right, um, let's see, structures, PVE, uh, um, structures, allow, yeah, all this stuff's turned on. Uh, allow crate spawns in on top of structures. Yeah, it's where you can actually uh, build stuff where uh, um, where loot drops come down. Uh, allow cave building. That's turned on just in case if I want to uh, um, build something to uh, beat a boss. Let's see, all that. Ignore structure prevention modules. That right there, I'm not playing on Genesis, so it doesn't matter. Let's see, uh, all these are pretty much just the default, uh, G portal things. Uh, there is one in here for structure pickup, and that's the one that we're going to be talking about. Uh, disable structure, um, collision is turned on, so where we can, sorry about that, it wouldn't be a, uh, copy time if I didn't have somebody knocking at my door. All right, so, uh, let's see. Uh, integrated structures yeah this right here this allows you to uh build inside of uh uh the ground so where you don't have you you, you don't have the clipping issues that you uh normally do They're, these are all just same check boxes that they have on single player we'll walk through those here in just a little bit all right um let's see always allow structure pickup this right here this is the one that changes the i and i file this, um, and if you're hosting on Gportal, it's just a simple uh, checkbox here. So where, um, it, no matter what you put down, as long as it's not damaged, and that's one of the key things, it has to be fully repaired for you to pick it right back up. Um, but that's also because uh, um, they were working with the one guy when they did the homestead um, update. They allowed it so where you could change that in the INI file, which is great. They actually uh, incorporated some bits and pieces from the S Plus mod and put them into the base game of Arc, and that's what that allows you to do. Uh, so it's not modded; it's in the programming of the game. You just have to know how to access it. All right. Um. Let's see. Uh, for the most part, everything else is just defaults. 
Let's see, player damage, all this, every, all the numbers are one. Use corpse locator, yes. Show player map location, yes. Allow third person player, yes. Uh, Non-permanent diseases. Uh, I have prevent diseases turned off, so I will get diseased. But uh, if I do get diseased, it's not going to be permanent because that's really no fun. <laughs> I mean, it could be hilarious if I did it right, but I'm not sure I wanted to go through that. Um, I also have uh, um, unlimited respects checked. And then for the most part, that's about it. And then we'll see. Uh, taming speed is four, right? I just want everybody to know that. Uh, taming interval multiplier is uh, 0 0.25. Uh, hatch speed is 30. Baby mature speed is 42.5. These are the same settings that I use on soloing the arc. Uh, baby cuddle interval is 0 0.035. Baby imprint to um, amount multiplier is 1.1. Yeah, these are the exact same ones that I use on soloing the arc. Um, if you need more um, info about uh, these settings, go into my Discord, um, into the gameplay Q and A section, and we we chat about these all the time. We even have I have them set up in the um, uh, frequently asked questions and everything it's because they're really good settings uh myself and the admins that i have uh with me we've uh we've uh set up where this really really good uh ones let's see well i don't want that on allow our flyer stamina recovery no all right i'm not sure how that got turned on and then max tame dinos i haven't set it ten thousand, just because you know if i want to play around i can play around all right, um, let's get all the way down, and yeah, now we're down at the very bottom, uh, getting into procedural arcs. That's the settings for this. Let me just save that really quick so everything that, uh, all the corrections I just made just now get saved, and yeah, all right, so hey, let's pop into arc, and I'll show you the equivalency of, uh, the soloing the arc settings, um, compared with these settings. They're, for the most part, they're the exact same. Um, and then also we'll discuss on how to adjust your I and I if you're on PC. Okay, so here we are. We're in uh, this right here. This is the this is the meat of soloing the arc right here because on soloing the arc on uh, the regular on season five, I'm actually playing on a uh, um on a single player. So um, if you notice, there are some times where I actually get a performance hit. And I wanted to start off the rag as kind of an experiment because I wanted to see if I ran a regular server only solo and how much increase I would get. And it's actually quite a, a lot. I get a lot um, better performance on the server when I'm playing it solo than I do in um, Soul in the Ark, which I still get a good one. I mean, I've got a beefy machine. So, yeah, my machine is actually... My, my computer is actually, you know... Um, I make sure it's the best just for uh, soloing the arc, and that's why I'm constantly trying to uh, upgrade my PC right now. That thing's a beast. Um, all right, so here, this is the settings, um, the equivalency of the new RAG server, and then also the update for the uh, soloing the arc. Soloing the arc really hasn't changed. There's a few things that have. Um, you notice no mods. This right here it never gets clicked. These mods right here are just ones that I'm forced to install so I can play on the Patreon servers. Um, none of them ever get booted up and never get put up. None of that. Um, uh, because, well, there's one thing. There's one, there's a couple reasons, actually. The first reason is I never want to have any mods on Soling Air, ever, for any reason. Two, if I just put one up, just willy-nilly, you know, going, hey, I wonder what this would do. And then I load into it. Um, I, yeah, I can encounter a lot of errors because Soling the Ark is, it's such a... The save for it is, it, 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 it's a pretty old save. So, I mean, I think I've been working on it almost two years now. So, yeah, yeah I don't want to risk it at all for any reason. I don't want to add any mods to it. It would, it would, it, it has potential to actually uh, cause some damage to uh, the save game that I have going. So, no, no mods whatsoever. Um, and not if I, even if I would, I still wouldn't. So, let's see. All right, so uh, difficulty level, 1.0, dino damage. All these are 1.0. Um, oh yeah, taming um, speed on Soling the Ark has actually been reduced to three. Back when they uh, took and then they uh, um, they have the amount of time it took to tame everything, I lowered it down to three because technically with the old settings this would have been six taming speed. Now it's actually three, so Rag is actually running a little bit faster taming speed than Soling the Ark even. So yeah, 
All right, Harvest Amount. Harvest Amount is 3.0. Um, that's the one question I had uh, earlier about that. Um, so yeah, well, Harvest on Soul in the Ark is 3.0. Harvest on Rag is 2.0. Okay, uh, let's see. Get down here. Wow, third person camera, naval crosshair, PBE mode. This right here, this is the one that allows me to use the cryopods without the uh, um, cryo sickness. I just click that on. I mean, I'm, I don't, I mean, I'm dealing with Arby's right now. Having PBE mode turned on right um, really doesn't concern me when it comes to soul in the arc because there's just so many cryopods that have to get thrown out. And if I did have cryo sickness for every single one of them, the videos would just to clear the cryo sickness. Throwing out armies of uh, Rexes and stuff would take me probably about two hours just to throw them out. So, yeah, that's why I have PvE mode turned on so where I don't get cryo sickness. All right, let's see. Uh, PvE mode there. Uh, maximum difficulty, of course, that's checked. Enable gamma, yeah. Uh, corpse locator, yes. Allow unlimited respects, yes. All right, let's go into advanced. All right, now... Sorry, sneeze break. All right, so now we've got... All right, uh, allow, allow flyer carry PvE. If you're running in PvE mode, you need to have that turned on if you're playing single player because that way there, your Argents and stuff can actually pick up other dinos. If you don't have that checked, you're going to be running into a bunch of problems and you're going to be like, why can't I do this? It's because you don't have that checked. All right, uh, let's see. Uh, and just like on the other one, I have prevent diseases and unchecked and I have non-permanent diseases checked because I don't want permanent diseases. <laughs> um... I don't, yeah, this is one of the things I just don't want to have to worry about. All right, the PvE zone structure, that stuff doesn't matter. All right, so uh, the mating interval in Soling the Ark is 0 0.1. Uh, mating speed is 42.5. Uh, baby cuddle interval multiplier is uh, 0 0.35. Cuddle grace period, 1.0. Uh, all stat scale multipliers are default. It would kind of, yeah, no. Uh, spoiling time on uh, Soul in the Ark is 2.0. That's one thing I haven't um, fixed on Rag yet. Rag will be getting to 2.0 because it just makes it a little bit easier when you're playing solo. All right, let's see. Although I'm not going to change stack sizes. Stack sizes will stay the same as default. Um, let's see. A crop growth speed, all this. Dino stats. Uh, Stano stats per level. Tame Dino stats per level, Tame Dino efficiency, all this stuff. Yeah, it's all default. Let's see, uh, show floating damage text that's turned on. Allow custom recipes, yes. And raid Dino feeding. This is the one that I recently turned on for um, the Titans. I, I actually went right after I tamed the Ice Titan um, when I was relogging um, in that edit a little bit where I said, hey, I'll be right back. I'm going to go relog and see if it fixed it. It did fix him, and then I also turned and um, clicked that checkbox where that's turned on so where now that is actually turned on all right so now let's scroll down here let's see and then yeah this right here uh custom recipe effectiveness 1.0 skill factor 1.0 crafting 1.0 all this stuff right here this is default fuel consumption multiplier 1.16 that's a uh, default for um oh uh um regular single players where you burn a, a little bit more gasoline in single player that's by design from wildcard all right, so also um, another thing that's kind of newer, new-ish to uh, single player settings is that if you have an event and you you want to turn it on a specific event, doesn't even matter if it's necessary. And right now we could turn on the Easter event if I wanted to, where I could uh, get that recorded and then do whatever, you know, and then just go through and then just turn on any event I want. Um, if you have any questions about what the event codes are, uh, just pop in a Discord. We've got a bunch of things. All right, so hey, uh, let's grab the I and I file, and then let's uh, um, oh, let's uh, discuss exactly how to do that. Okay, so now that we've gone, and um, if you want, if you're on PC and you want to know how to get to this window right here, to the Arc window, all you do is there's an easy little quick um, way. You go to your Steam apps uh, inside Steam. You go to your games. You right click on it, and then you browse local files, and then it'll open up this window right here. In this window. You go to uh, Shooter Game, uh, Saved, and this right here, this right here, this is the nuts and bolts of uh, Soling the Ark. This this right here is Soling the Ark. Um, and then this is how you uh, can change all this. Actually, yeah, we go to Config, Windows No Editor, and inside of here, 
right? We go to game user settings.ini. Now this right here is all the um, script for running my specific game of Soul in the Ark. For this one right here, all you really have to do is scroll all the way down where um, it has server settings. And then in server settings, you go like this. Go. All right. Click uh, enter. Go back up like that. And then you put this code right there. Always allow structure pickup true. And that right there will allow you to pick up any um, one that you can um, in your single player game. That's how you set that up inside the I&I. &I. I'm going to delete that, of course, because I don't want that inside Soul in the Ark. But, yeah, and we're going to close that, and we're not going to save it. And then, bam. All right, because I'm, I don't want to put that in there. But if you guys want to know how I'm doing it on RAG, that's how you do it, and that's how you enable it. All right, so, hey, uh, this is Coffee Time. Um, coffee Time always seems to be a little bit all over the place when it comes to uh, server settings and stuff like that. But, yeah, so um, if you... Uh, uh, have uh, oh, if you host a server on G Portal, or if you're just running on the uh, single player settings through uh, the regular base game, that's how you set up your game to run like um, Ragnarok, or at least the way I have mine to run currently on Ragnarok. Um, if you have any more questions about how uh, about the settings, don't I mean leave them in a comment down below, and I'll make sure to answer them. Or pop into Discord. Also, if you're looking to rent a server. Um, go through G Portal. G Portal's got a really good system, and I'm gonna be doing a quick commercial for them. I mean, I know I they don't pay me for it. I mean, I've got I, I work with them a little bit. They give me some free servers. You know, I pay for some more. But yeah, it's a really good back and forth that we've got going. So I just like to throw them, uh, you know, a little, uh, you know, hey, if you're looking to get a G Portal server, right there on my channel banner, go click it. Yeah, you get a discount for the life of your server. It's pretty good. All right, uh, but yeah, so hey, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you click that like button. I really appreciate that. If you're new around here, subscribe. Until next time, this is Flinger Foo. Still with a little coffee left this time. Take it easy, everybody.